Recently, a NASCAR driver called Bubba Wallace claimed that someone left a noose in his garage in Alabama. The media reacted as if a war had broken out, wall-to-wall -wall coverage that made it precisely clear who the enemy was. And of course, countless syrupy segments on the dopey morning shows framing the whole thing as a milestone in the march towards civil rights. These scenes of unity coming just 24 hours after a noose was found in Wallace's team garage stall, an area restricted to only essential personnel. NASCAR and the FBI are now investigating. These scenes of unity. Unfortunately, no one covering this story ever bothered to ask the obvious questions. Where exactly was this noose, the actual noose Bubba Wallace kept talking about? No picture of it ever surfaced. And by the way, haven't we heard this story somewhere before, like repeatedly? Between 2015 and 2018, there were six high-profile so-called hate crimes involving nooses. All of them were promoted heavily by the media. Every one of them turned out to be a hoax, every single one of them. And that's not even counting Jussie Smollett. The odds that this noose hate crime was real we're always very small. It's just not a very racist country, actually, in the end. Most of us know that. But you never know it from listening to the authorities. The U.S. attorney suggested federal charges would be brought. Brought against whom? That was never clear. Meanwhile, the FBI swooped in by the van load. The Bureau sent at least 15 agents to investigate this provocation against a millionaire race car driver. Fifteen agents at a time when mobs were roaming the country completely unchallenged by law enforcement, burning things, assaulting people. In the end, as you may have heard, it was, needless to say, yet another noose hoax. There was no hate crime in Bubba Wallace's garage. We'll have details on that story later in the show. A great senators. Hi, Chuck. He used to love me when I was a Democrat, you know. 